Coombe Cassius Rifle TV in association with MTK Global at the final press conference of Belfast Boy. Ryan Burnett challenging for his first world title against Lee Haskins. How excited are you? Very, very excited. It's been a, it's been a long road. I've been over, in, been over in London now for two and a half months getting myself ready for this. <laughs> and we're here now. Saturday night's only a couple of days away, so I'm very, very excited. The picture of you and Adam went absolutely everywhere, didn't it? Yeah. Almost viral. And um, <laughs> just talk to me about that sort of moment that we, obviously we saw the picture. We didn't, we weren't privy to the, the conversation. So how did it go? Um, I just I came down one morning uh, in Adams, and I was literally I was just woken up and I, I came stumbling stumbling downstairs, and Adam said to me, "Ryan, sit down. I want to talk to you." I was thinking to myself, I, could, I was barely awake, I was thinking to myself, what's this about then? And he just said to me, do you know the way a picture can speak a thousand words? And I went, yeah. And he showed me a picture of me and Haskins standing beside each other and he says, you're fighting for the world title. And it hit me like a, like a punch in the chest. It was so, um, that's, that's the sort of moment I've, I've been wanting to hear. That's the words I've been wanting to hear since I was a kid. And uh, I'm, I'm very lucky that they, they came so close, so early in my career. And Eddie Hearn said in the press conference, without Adam Booth kind of commenting, that he believes that you know of all the the big world title fights that Adam's been involved with, um, this will be, give him almost the, the greatest satisfaction. It's not really for you to answer that whether that's true or not, but just you can see your relationship with you and Adam and how that could be uh, very true. Yeah, me and Adam's got a, a great relationship. Um, I live with Adam. Adam's went above and beyond for me. He's he's done a lot for me in the past few years. And with that, we, we've we've great, we've built a great um, a great relationship. I would I would sort of look at Adam as a father figure, a home away from home. And um, it's it's going to be great on Saturday night when I'm capable of saying, look. We've done it. We've got that belt. We've done it. And that's uh, something I, um, I think about quite a lot. Eddie Owen said today that in an ideal world, he would have liked to have sort of had a fight in between this fight, um, between your last fight and challenging for a world title. Can you see where he was going with that? Uh, yeah. But it's all about getting that experience and building it up on papers, so to speak. But I've got a great team around me and team that's not just looking out for, for boxing and money. Uh, I've got a team that's looking out for my best interests. Adam doesn't need to be in the game. Like he, He's been there, he's done it, uh, he's got he's got everything he wants in life. He doesn't need to be training fighters, but he does so because he loves it. So there's no need for Adam to push me unnecessarily. And uh, Adam strongly, Adam believes that I'm very capable of winning this fight. That's why this fight's going ahead. It's, um, like I said, it's, we've seen sort of the journey over the last few fights of um, you being in some, some good fights, sometimes criticised for not getting opponents out of there, but Adam has maintained that, you know, you're learning in the right way. Yeah, I don't know how anyone can argue with Adam. Adam's been a guy who's been in the game for a long time. He knows how to build champions. He's done it over and over again. There was plenty of times in, in the, when I've been fighting where I've wanted just to let my hands go and quite easily could have stopped people. <clears throat> but Adam's told me, no, don't stick to the plan. Stick to the game. Do what you have to do. Repeat what you have to do. And that's what I've done. Yes, I might get criticised for it. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I, I listen. I, I, I could have easily made a choice to listen or don't listen. And I, choose, I chose to listen to Adam. And with that, has brought me to where I am today. He's always maintained that we haven't seen nowhere near the best Ryan Burnett, um, what he sees in the gym every day. Uh, but we're about to, and we're going to. Yeah, I've always said that you'll see the best Ryan Burnett when you see me in front of a world-class fighter. It was the same as the amateur games when I went on international tournaments and I fought the best in the world. The best Ryan Burnett was there on the night. I think it's the same with the professional game. I think the better the opponent, the better Ram Burnett gets. And Lee Haskins is a, he's a world level underrated champion. And he's very, very good, very tricky. But he's, he's people forget that he's genuine world class. He won a world title, he's defended it. And 
I think with that opposition brings out the best of Van Burnett. Lee Ask, as, as Eddie Hearn said, has been there and kind of done this all before. So experience wise, wise he's he's there. But like I said you're the the younger man in this fight, and uh, you'll be looking to rip that title away from him. Yeah, he's, he definitely has the experience. But when you think about it, what is experience? It's it's an understanding. And every day, Adam gives me a clear understanding of what I have to do, what what situ- how to under how to understand situations. And I think. Um, I don't think experience is going to play a factor in this fight. Not long to find out. Wayne, tomorrow and then Saturday night, it's on. Yeah, that's it. We're touching distance now. It's all the hard work's done. It's just time to shut off, go into my subconscious and let the good times roll. Ryan Burnett, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV and uh, I'm sure we'll catch up with you over the weekend, mate. Thank you very much. Best of luck. Cheers.